Hey guys, got another video here. We're gonna see if I can pull cards number one and two out of 12 from this box. This is the second box I'm opening. Those are the only ones that I need. And I really hope I can pull them out of here right now. So follow me, I'm gonna jump right into it. And uh, hopefully we can grab those cards. So the cards I'm missing are from Cryptid Nation. I've got a feeling one of them is gonna be a Mothman. And the other one, I actually don't know if it's a Piazza bird or is it the Loveland Frogman? who I pulled in Hero Quest, which you can watch in my Hero Quest videos. Uh, really cool set. That's one of the sets that I think MetaZoo knocked it out of the park this year. So, quick review. I've gotten everything except for those first two cards. Here's the packaging. Something I mentioned last video is you can see it's actually got that really cool hollow, just like MetaZoo cards have. Nobody's mentioned this. That is a cool little touch, and I think that's what makes this very cool product. Having a hollow on the box that resembles the cards with that star pattern, that uh, the famous MetaZoo star pattern. It's got a nice Kickstarter K down here. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. That K makes me feel like I'm opening something worth a lot of money, and that makes it all the better. So we've got the Iowa Dragon, Wendigo, and Mothman in the box. On the back, we've got a little chat. I covered that last video. Let's get into this and see if we can open those cards. Numbers one and two is what we need. Let's uh, let's get ripping and make it a short video here. As the first, if you want to see more details, go to the other video. Let's see. There we go, number two, Mothman to Arms. I did it already. Now I just need that number one. Awesome card. I'm gonna throw it in a penny sleeve because I collect these and put them in a binder. Yes, there he is, Mr. Mothman. Number two is gonna go right over there. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Okay, next up, let's see what we get here. I'm thinking it's the Loveland Frogman. For some reason, I got a feeling that, not this card necessarily, but uh, that's the next, that's the number one. Oh, it's Red Ink to Arms. I literally just finished the set off. Two boxes. Red Ink to Arms is the one that I was missing. Oh, very cool. Hey, this is a nice looking card. This is my only ink card that I have. And I realize that lots of people will have this ink card. Oh, I got something underneath this. Okay, hold on, we gotta redo this. Sometimes when I put cards in, there's a, something sitting on, on the card and I can feel it when I put it in. So I wanna get that out. It's like dust or cardboard from cutting it. That feels better. Red ink to arms. Now let's see what else we can get devils of, okay? It no longer becomes we gotta finish the set. It now becomes what are we going to get devils of? Let us see, a Wendigo would be nice, an Iowa Dragon, what do we have? The Kinderhook Blob. I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the one, one of the cards that I was thinking, hey, it would be nice if I didn't get another one of those. Not because I don't like it, but because I would have loved something else. But we got lots more room, as there's 10 of them. One thing I would say that would have been cool is if they would have done a, a few different renditions of these cards to make it a little bit less, a little harder to pull some of them, or even more rare. Uh, that would have been cool, but overall, I got it. Hey, another Mothman. I will take this. I will even put it in another penny sleeve, and I will compare it to the other one to decide which one is going to end up in my binder. Actually, they all will. I'm just going to have to make it look very pretty. So this is number seven. So he's going to go right about there. Next up. Yes, the Wendigo. I will throw you in a penny sleeve because I love Wendigo. I have bought in so many of these Nightfall cards. It's one of the things I've been chasing the most right now is just Nightfall cards. I love them. Death, or the Grim Reaper I should say. No, it's Death, right? Yeah, it's Death. And uh, Wendigo and Mothman, so good, love it. And we got Chibi Bigfoot to arms. You get a penny sleeve, Mr. Bigfoot. Mr. Chibi Bigfoot. Here we go. You can go right about there-ish. Okay, we got four packs left. What else would be really fun to pull in here? Oh. Maybe a Babe the Blue Ox or... No, let's see. Oh, I'll take a Cumberland Dragon. Yes. Another one of those. Very, very cool. Okay, number 10, you can go way over here. 
I'm gonna have to reorganize some of these as I go here as I like to make it look very nice in the background. Next up, we've got the Dragon of Oconto Falls to Arms. I love the Dragon of Oconto Falls. One of my favorites, that's number 11 of 12, and then the Iowa Dragon is after that. How am I gonna do this? He's gonna, oh man, I've created such a disaster here. I'm hoping I get another, you know what, another Iowa Dragon would be nice too. We gotta just scoot some of this stuff down. This is five, six, okay, seven. You can go there. We got, well, seven, eight, nine, We've got 10. Number 12 is gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit squished. Okay, let's see what we get next, okay. Two packs left. Short video by my standards. Oh, that was right near the top, and I nearly wrecked this card. Let us see. Of course, the Iowa Dragon, and there's no room. You can sit somewhere else uh, until I until I figure out what I'm gonna do. So we have seven, eight, nine, two, three. Yeah, so this is like pretty well organized. Okay, let's let's do this one first. I can't. I can't make any more assumptions. And Babe the Blue Ox. I will take another Babe. I will take another one. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to open any more of these on the channel. And my reasoning is that... Okay, let's organize this one bit. My reasoning is I've got one of each. I'm actually quite happy with this. Um, I'm glad I was able to do that. Otherwise, it would have been quite the chase. And uh, I'm not really looking at chasing things these days it's uh I, I, don't get me wrong i'd end up doing it but i don't get much pleasure out of it it's like uh i've been kind of trying to, i have a mini chase two two booster boxes i've opened of seance because all i'm doing is i'm chasing a booster box that has some hollows in it so i just want to open a booster box with some hollows from that that set and uh i have to let it go because otherwise i'll chase it and i'm really disappointed that the two booster boxes I've gotten so far are uh, have zero hollows at all in them. So let's take one last look here. There we go. There's the cards. Very happy with this. Thank you, MetaZoo, for delivering this product. I'm really glad that you stayed strong. Well, I know there were fans that were faltering, that were struggling with it, but uh, you definitely uh, pulled through and delivered the product. And good on you. This is ADHD TCG. You can follow me on Instagram at ADHD TCG. Like, comment, subscribe, it all helps me very much. Uh, have a discussion with me, whatever you want, and uh, we can go from there. Thanks for watching. And Carter, if you're watching this, I don't know why you're watching this because you don't do much MetaZoo. Maybe it's because you're just that good of a friend, unlike Addison. I appreciate you.